I've also been trying out uh, the service with this phone. 260 megabits, quite impressive. This is a cell phone. It sends 500 HD photos in a second and 500 pieces of FLAC music in 10 seconds. It downloads a 4K HD movie in 30 seconds and Red Dead Redemption 2 in a minute. The reason for its lightning fast network, 5G. Five G, the fifth generation cellular network technology, can reach up to 100 times faster than the current 4G. From 1G to 4G, technological reforms between generations in the past 40 years happened like it was yesterday. In 1987, people started using brick phones. In 2000, people spent three months' salary buying a cell phone. In 2011, more people started using iPhones and sending voice messages on WeChat. In 2014, mobile payment was widely accepted. During that Chinese New Year, snatching red envelopes online became a festivity. In this era of 5G, utilizing its high speed and low latency, China is developing a large-scale Internet of Things. However, globally speaking, China wasn't the first to initiate the commercialization of 5G. Since 2019, South Korea, the US, Switzerland, and the UK announced commercialization of 5G, with China joining the crew later on. As of early June, Huawei's 4.6 commercial contracts surpassed Nokia and Ericsson, ranking first globally. As a latecomer in 5G, China has attracted attention worldwide. Why? Huawei comes into play again. Its 2,160 5G patent families take up 18% globally and ranks first. As of March 2019, the necessary patents on 5G standards applied by Chinese enterprises took up 34% globally and ranked first, granting the Chinese telecommunication industry more power of speech. Moreover, in the 50 standardization projects proposed by the telecommunication standardization sector of ITU, China alone has 21. This means in the 5G era, patent fee paid for the purchase of your cell phone might partially go over to Chinese enterprises. When you buy a cell phone, you're paying patent fee. When you subscribe to a plan, you're paying for base stations. As signal transceivers, more base stations decide a larger signal coverage and a smoother network. The high frequency and short wavelength of 5G means to reach the same signal coverage as in 4G era, more base stations are needed. It's predicted that in China, there will be 5 million 5G base stations in the future. Challenges lie in the space and expensive construction costs. How should China advance in the construction of base stations? Compared to 4G base stations that easily tower over 30 meters, 5G micro base stations are small enough to hang over a utility pole, significantly saving space. China's local governments have introduced policies to support the construction of them. Meanwhile, China's 5G operators have already built over 700,000 micro base stations. With the base stations in place, manufacturers will promote applications in all different areas. 5G is advancing forward with education, medicine, and agriculture. The lightning fast network is merely one of its representations. Its essence lies in the competition of scientific research and innovation power among all countries. A fast and furious in the telecommunication industry has just begun. How will the Chinese 5G change people's lives? Let's wait and see.